Okay, everybody, this is Nelka again. It's almost end of Ramadan now. That's why I'm, I have time to create this final video tutorials for this little lighting design. Happy Eid to all those living in the Middle East region. Happy Eid! So let's proceed now with our uh, final lighting des design tutorials for this little shop. So we've finished now creating those uh, documents, the report for our clients. And now we will proceed to creating the lighting layout. This lighting layout is very important for the electrical engineers or lighting installers and of course to the architects because they need to count those luminaires and of course they want to see where the luminaires are located. It's easy to create this lighting layout by just extracting this AutoCAD file from Dialux Evo. So let's go now and start doing it. Okay, so all you have to do is go to the export tab here at the top of your screen and then go to the third below the drawings, the drawing style, and then uncheck those informations that you don't need for your lighting layout so side contours remove objects remove uh, building remove luminaire parts list okay let's just stay this one story contour and then doors and windows remove also luminaire parts list objects remove calculation surfaces and points we can uh, retain this one uh, results table, yes, retain it. If you want to include the ISO lines, you can also, but you don't need to do that for now. If it's a sports lighting, it's okay, or any application, but for detail, we don't need to do that. Okay, and then once you uh, uncheck all those unnecessary documents, go and select the AutoCAD version. I usually choose the 2010 version and the unit is in meters and then after that you say export to a new file i usually uh, use the new file instead of the existing file so that i still have my original file intact so press the ex export to new file and then yeah let's say retail lighting design, design tutorial let's say okay and then save sometimes it will take time to save or export this um, autocad file but um, yeah, just wait for that uh, because uh, some of the fittings are heavy because it's in 3D and sometimes it has been adapted. Okay, drawing has been exported now. So let's go now and check it. So let's go to the documents. So let's open it. Okay, while opening, let's wait for that and uh, let's check our fitting and maybe open the website where we get all those fittings because we will take all the 2d drawings of these fittings later on because if you use the autocad export uh, the dialux e export sorry the autocad from the dialux export sometimes it's very heavy so it's to change the, the autocad into 2d so now it's open Let's maximize this and see it's look that this looks like this. So go to the view and 3D views and isometric and see how it looks. See all the fittings sometimes are at the top of the drawing. It's adapting the height from the room. So we better make it as flat. So because it's really important that you have a very low file for AutoCAD because this one is heavy. So go to the view again and uh, go to the top view and zoom extend. Yeah, now it's extended. And then you can move your result here a little closer to the layout. And then see if the result is correct. So you will have your luminar parts list. And of course you will have your calculation. Press F8 to make it straight you will have your lux value for every room so selling area fitting room fitting room 2 and stock room so 2000 lux 388 263 and 303 lux 
Okay. You can also include this one or if you don't like or if it's not necessary, then it's okay not to include it. And if you go to your luminaires parts list, you can see that uh, index, manufacturer, the luminaire type, item number or the order number code, and then the fitting name, the luminous flux of the fitting, uh, the light loss factor. I used 0.8. Uh, in our office, sometimes we use 0.78. But for an interior lighting, 0.8 is enough. Actually, if it's LED, you can go for 0.9. Uh, so it's fine. And then the connected load and the quantity of every fit thing. So here. And then maybe you can adjust your table so it will not be too crowded like this. Yes. Something like that. Uh, what else we need to do this is so okay this is fine and then once you uh, clean all the table uh, once you clean the table you can go and proceed now with your lighting layout you may uh, uncheck this one or close the layer for this one and maybe for these numbers IGX IGX okay no, the, uh, the first IDX is not close to because it will be the legend. And once you open it, uh, once you clean it, go and open your original file. Okay, so you may open the lighting layout, the original one, and maybe the general layout, which includes the fixtures. So it depends of, on where you want to insert this lighting layout. And then once you uh, finish everything, go and control C and you will copy this one to your dialogs output here. Uh, don't copy this one towards the other file. Make that original file copy towards here because this one is heavy. It will take time for you to copy this one. Okay. And then control C and then right click and then go to your uh, exported lighting layout then control V now it's the same size all right so what we're going to do is um, we will match now this to here so you can do that by just moving it or make this one as a block you need to block it so it will not touch anything press B for block and then label this one as base point or base plan okay, let's go for base plan and then select objects you can go press this one and select this one and then right click and then speci specify uh, the big point you can say this one's the big point at the edge and then say ok now when you move this one it's, it will be in the one block anywhere you touch is only it's now a singular one it's only one piece and now let's go and open this uh, um, luminar again. Now it's open. And then we will move now this plan to here. First, go to your layer properties again. And then control A. If you want to make everything in gray, those that exported from, uh, those that are imported from the original drawing you can do it because I I always wanted to have a, you can go and select control A and then make this one as gray and so everything is gray now but uh, dialogs let's make it still again as yellow this original electrical this is the original from the client let's make it the same same color like this all right so yeah now you have your proper layering so let's go now and move our uh, plan here okay you may um, uncheck this one and maybe use this one as your guide because see those edges are those uh, lines are from the room dimensions so we can use this one as a reference also so let's move it and we will make this one as a reference 
and this one as our which is going to be our reference this one this is going to be our reference okay then move it here there you go so double check if it's correct uh-huh no it's not see this one is supposed to be here the reference line is wrong again okay so let's undo it and move it Okay, maybe we can use the edge of this stack room as a reference line. So, let's go and do this. So, let's go and check this one. And also place it here. And now, see and double check. Okay. So, I think this is what, this one is correct now. Yep, okay. So now we're done with the uh, uh, they just putting it in the reference line. So let's go and um, close now this um, layer from the dialogs. So you will not get confused. Please bear with me on this one because it really takes time. AutoCAD is sometimes really takes time. But if you get used to it, it will be uh, easy. Go to the website and get get the 2d CAD file of that fitting so okay I open now the calculation report and I will take the sub code for this one for this punch copy and go to the website and paste it in the website and open it and you can see now that there is dimensional sketch and 3d CAD drawing also there is you don't go for the 3D card because you already have the 3D. Uh, maybe this XPO, the shelf light. Let's go and check, copy, and then go to the zoom to bell, and then control V, and then press this one, and yeah, there is 2D for this one. So let's go. You can see now there's 3D and 2D. So let's go and press the 2D, say save, and then let's open it. Uh, uh, no, I will not open the block editor. So now you have your uh, XPO. This is now a 2D. It's much better. So you can just control C. So this one. You can copy also the name if you like. So control C. And then put it in your AutoCAD file, Control V. Yes, I think this, this the scale of this one is correct. Now it's here. Okay, so we will just copy this one. Control this. Let's just uh, because this is the orientation of the fitting. So it's going to be. We will rotate it. Command R O or rotate. This is a little time consuming because I'm making my uh, layout more uh, formal and correct because actually you can just submit it to the client and uh, the extracted from dialogs you can just submit it to the client and put a dimension and that's it. But I'm making it more correct so just please bear on me on that. So let's move it. or copy this one because it's a tool length and then yeah and then you can erase this one now say erase but do not erase the number 9 because that is the legend uh, if you're dealing with the interior designer you need to place these fittings in a proper dimensions okay and then erase the reference okay so now you have your first Okay, this one it shows the arrow where the uh, the lights are towards or are aiming. So that's why it's like that. And then you can just copy it to the other side. So copy, and then you can uh, create a new detail in the elevation and section if you like. But we are now focusing on the on the floor plan. So let's create a reference here again. Then let's just delete this one and then move. Okay, it's 
So now we have our uh, first lighting layout for the shelves. You can see that this uh, this shelf light has three layers as per our drawing, as per our design. But in the floor floor plan, you can also only see one um, one layer. But um, you can specify that it is in the three layers or in, in the shelves by including it in the section view. And then in this um, LED strip, of course, we don't have um, 2D for that. Or maybe there is. So let's go and check. Let's close this one. This is from Tridonic. So let's go and check it in from the Tridonic. So go to the products and then LED engines. And let's go to the LED strips. And then let's select this uh, one. Advance. Yeah, there is AutoCAD. Wow, look at that. Okay, uh, there's a computer glitch again in Dialux Evo because let's zoom it. If you see, um, I selected um, 940, it's 4000 Kelvin, 4000 Kelvin. But here in the colometric data, it says 3000 Kelvin, which is wrong. So make sure you, you mention it to your client. Or you can just edit it. Or maybe you can edit it in Dialux Evo itself. But we see that this is 4000 Kelvin, but here it says 3000. Okay, so that's another info. So let's go back now. 1200 lumen. So let's go and select the card and say yes. Save it. And then open the folder and extract. And we will open the TCAD now. Add the AutoCAD from TCAD. And this is how it looks. But we need to block it. So let's go and block. Say LED strip. If you want to use the same. So select object. Then right click. Then pick point. Say yes. And we selected the 2 meter length. And then control C. And then go to your uh, file. And then control V. Uh, again, this is a uh, millimeters so scale it command sc select right click uh, make a base point and one of type one over one thousand then enter then move and then oh this is not one thousand this is centimeter so scale again select right click and press ten over one correct and then now you can move and copy it all over the uh, cove lighting so just copy and then press the edge this one and then just continuously copying it there okay so we'll close now and this one it's too long Actually, they can cut it in actual side. So now we have uh, one strips or the cove light, and then just keep continue working on the other side, and uh, because later on we will remove this yellow color. Okay.